Hello, good afternoon everyone. We're here again to another type of tournament which is the ladder tournament. Ladder tournament is a kind of tournament wherein varsity coaches commonly use this to use to the players who is playing individual sports like badminton, tennis, or whatsoever. So this one is very useful if the community is uh, small, if the school is uh, small. Why? Because most of the players are used to know each other. Now, there's no formula in here. Then uh, we have to consider those who are expert players or should I say best players should remain on top of the ladder. So, in case that you'll be using this, you have to take note that you have a specified time to finish this kind of tournament. Let's say you wanted to use this tournament in a month. So, within a month, you need to finish the tournament. Whoever stays on top of the ladder, that is the winner. Through example, you could see how it is now let's have names here to be listed in this ladder should I or I'll make or let's have five players to eight players in a ladder to play for one month but one month won't reflect it here i'll just show you how to do it or how this ladder to be done supposing we have uh, pedro pedro who is our best player among competitors remember that when you use this you know the players okay let's say John Dell we have Sam number four we have Winston number five Ananias number six who won number seven we have uh, Bill. Number eight, we have Toto. As you can see, there are eight participants who will play in this ladder. Now, I'll be drawing here a ladder, okay? So this is done in vertical manner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. At the top, we have Pedro, followed by John Dell. Sam, Winsan, Ananias, Juan, Bill, and in ladder tournament, the player could challenge up to the third level of this ladder. Example, Toto would like to challenge one. It's okay. As long as it's on the third or up to the third row of this horizon. Example, Toto wanted to move up to the next level or on the third level. Then, Toto could challenge one. Remember that in the ladder, the player could only challenge up to the third row of the ladder. 
So this is it. That's it. Or this is the first row, second row, third row. In case who won loses its turn during the challenge, then who won will go down to the place of Tuto and Tuto will go up to the place of Juan. Okay? So Tuto now has a chance to go up on the next top of the ladder. But I'd like to tell you that Tuto could either challenge Bill if he doesn't like to challenge Juan in the first place. Okay? Now, how about here? Who can challenge Pedro? Sam or Jandel could only challenge Pedro, but not Winsan Ananias. But how about here? Let's say Ananias wanted to go up to Winsan's place. So Ananias needs to defeat Winsan first before he could replace the place of Winsan. If ever Winsan loses or lose its turn, then Winsan will go down. Ananias will go up. Now, take note. If ever that the player have met already the other player, then you have to wait until such time that you can meet all of them. Example. Sam challenged Pedro. And Pedro lose. Okay. So, Pedro will go down and Sam will go up. So, until or after one month, one month tournament, if still Sam remains on top, then Sam is the champion. So, that's the rules in the ladder tournament. So I hope you learned something this afternoon about the ladder tournament. Thank you. Okay. No. Those who are on top of this ladder, they cannot challenge those who are below in this ladder. Only those who are below or at the bottom could be the one to challenge those who are at the top. So that's the rule in the ladder. So those who are here, then they have to do their best to move up.